So we've got two, uh, two targets for our mission. One of them is to raise awareness, you know, the fact that suicide is the biggest killer in young people. Torbay has the highest rate in the southwest, um, and mental health affects one in four. I'm Tom Chapman and I'm the founder of Suicide Prevention and Mental Health uh, Awareness Charity, the Lions Barber Collective, and I'm also a freelance uh, platform artist, educator and barber. Tor Bay is quite underrated and I speak to a lot of young people and they want to get away from the area, they feel like they're trapped and they feel there's not enough opportunities here. I travel a lot and I've been around the world and I'm always very, very grateful to come back to Tor Bay and I, I do miss it a lot when I'm away. And it makes me appreciate it. I think the people think the grass is always greener, but in fact, uh, having this sort of these tranquil environments that we've got here and a slower pace of life enables you to be more creative. And perhaps it's like less competitive rat race. That that kind of helps as well. And with social media and the internet now, you can live anywhere in the world and uh, and have a, an impact globally. So I was sat in. Amsterdam in a hotel writing a chapter for a book that I've been asked to write for by a publisher. Writing that was a bit of time to reflect, I was by myself and with the Lions Barber Collective our idea to start off with is to save people's lives. When I was writing that down it hit me that we have actually impacted people and saved lives with the Lions Barber Collective and I think that that's probably got to be the biggest success to date is if we've saved people's lives. The Lions Barber Collective is a group of barbers, started off with 30 barbers from all over the UK and Ireland. The idea was that we were going to produce a lookbook, so a collection of images of and every single barber, uh, just a, a collection in a book that would raise money for charity. One of the guys mentioned suicide prevention and that hit home with me because about 12 months prior to that I'd lost a friend from here in Torquay by suicide and I wasn't aware of any suicide prevention charities or mental health organisations that just didn't even hit me as a possible charity to do the book for. So that made a big impact with me and I thought if I don't know about it, I've been affected by it, then that's the reason why we need to do something along the lines of this. We did a survey of Bluebeard's Revenge, which is a local product company based in Plymouth, and they found out that men are more likely to go and see their barber than their GP. So we aim to educate people through Barber Talk, which is a training program which we're developing with people from Samaritans, uh, Public Health UK. So we're putting this all into place, which is a bespoke training program for barbers so that they can recognize the signs, talk and ask direct questions, how to listen with uh, empathy and non-judgmentally, and then also how to signpost to all these amazing organizations that are out there. Barbers can bridge the gap between our communities that we serve and the uh, organizations and professionals that are out there. If there's one thing we could do in Torbay to prevent suicide, I think just let your friends and family know that it's okay to talk to you and you won't judge them and it's a safe place and if anybody's struggling with anything there's a website that we're working with at the moment called uh, hubofhope.co.uk and it's a signposting service when you go on there you can put your uh, postcode in it locates you and gives you a list of all the resources that are around i think people are scared of becoming uh, diagnosed with something or labeled with something and there's no danger of that with the connection between you and your barber or you and your hairdresser or you and your friend, you know, I think just being there for one another and having a level of empathy.